Hi. Hello. Um, it's interesting to know about your idea. Explain, please, about who are you, what do you do? Okay. My name is uh, Harald Kuzenza, and I'm one of the co-founders at Mita. This is our fir first product. It's called Limfa, which is an automated um, uh, growing system which is uh, designed to stay in the house. It has LED lighting, it has a micro camera, and it has uh, control over temperature and humidity. So our machine is able to replicate certain conditions from, from places all over the world. And uh, how do you find this idea? How do you start it? Uh, while I was studying at the Politecnico in Milan, I started playing with Arduinos and I built my first uh, greenhouse because I was living, I moved from the countryside, so I had no, uh, no space to grow my plants. So I started growing plants and um, I started implementing the Arduino technology and now it's a company. Okay, and is, is it prototype or do you have... This is a, yeah, this is a prototype. It, uh, the final product will be, in, um, will be released in September. Uh, we think on a crowdfunding campaign. Price will be $199. And on Kickstarter, if you make it as one of the first big, you, you can get up to 150, 140 euros because uh, if you go faster you move, faster you pledge, better it is. So where to find it? On Kickstarter? Yeah, we will we'll fund it on Kickstarter by the like beginning half September 2016. And uh, tell about your team. Mm -hmm. you so have? our team is composed by me, while I'm, I'm one of the co-founder and the CEO. And we have Giampiero Peya, which is our uh, designer. He's an architect. Then we have uh, Mimo, which is uh, one. Uh, is a, he's an experienced software developer, and he's developing all the uh, system architecture. Then we have Stefano, which is developing all the software front end and back end. We have uh, two young uh, industrial designers, which are trying to industrialize the, the product, and we have also a senior industrial designer. For the electronics we, and firm, firmware, we worked with Alessandro Rubini, which is one of the top guys in Italy to, to work with in this, in this field. And uh, what's about the investment? Are you looking for it? Yeah, we are looking for investment. We just opened one week ago the seed round, because before we had around family and friends. Uh, it's 500,000 uh, euros, and we already raised in one and a half week 150. Awesome. So everybody who wants to put money in, it's welcome. Uh, what's about the plan? Uh, do you think to sell it uh, principally in Italy, in no, Europe? No, in absolutely. I, th I think Italy could be could be one market, a small market, a niche market. Uh, our main goal is to distribute it in the U United States, Northern Europe, okay. so Finland, or, uh, Norway, and, and in Japan and, and China. Okay, and can you tell about the technical? Uh, Specification that so it has um, an hydroponics okay. system. Um, it has cartridges which contains all the nutrient solutions. So it's auto dosing because it has sensor on board. Um, you have small pots which you, which contains the seed. Once you start the machine, the only thing you need to do is add water and plug the cartridges in. Once started, machine takes control over over all the parameters. We have four wavelength LED lights. We have control over temperature and humidity. Do you have application? Uh, web application? Uh, I mean, we, ha we have a, we have application, but the guides just shut it down, and we have a problem to reshut it off. But we have one. iOS. iOS. It's it's ready. Okay. Um, tell me about the. I mean, startup startuppers. Mm -hmm. uh, what does it mean for you to be startupper? Shitty hard. <laughs> Start. Uh, start up our life it's really hard I think the only way you can try to manage this is being humble and having fun because else it's too hard and you will freak out and when you have a heavy heavy days what do you do I mean heavy heavy days you think no it, it can't go <laughs> I cry <laughs> no I'm joking uh, try to keep focus and watch the long term and do some sport to refresh your mind because else you will get really really sad. Uh, what's about the trends uh, in, uh, in sort up like in the food uh, food industry? I think that a good trend to follow is 
the supply chain shortage. So shortening the supply chain because the value today it's in price and in, it's not in quality anymore. So we have huge corporation with owns most of the seeds and owns the and, and few corporates that own the supply chains. And then we get the same produce every day, 365 days a year, that it's standard, but it's not, not high quality. Okay, uh, have a good luck. Oh, thank you. Thank you.